Hello and welcome back to SnowRunner and our hard mode series. We are in Alaska still. Picking up pretty much where we left off before. Not pretty much, exactly. We never move on. Um, we are delivering the container to the drill inside, I believe. Yes, to the container to the drill inside. So does that mean we already did the pipes? It's been a, <laughs> it's been a few days since I was last here. So it might mean we've done it. It might mean we still need to do it. It's up on the list, so we still need to do it. Medium pipes as well. Oh, yeah, come on. It's been a while. I do like the Royal, but she is so tippy all the time. Even without her raised suspension, so tippy. In previous playthroughs, like I used the Royal a lot here uh, because you find it here. But then afterwards, well, she doesn't generally get much of a run out. But I'm not sure on hard mode we might <laughs> we might need her. She might get a bit more work here. So where do, where do I want to go now? I'm a little bit confused. Right. That's where we go. And if I just put my marker, then I won't forget next time. Oh, actually, can we get our... Might as well get our medium pipes, might we? Yeah, that makes sense. Let's do that. Run it all down. It's the whole point of the big trailer, isn't it? I do apologise if I sound a bit funny again. As it's, it's been nearly a week and a half since the last recording. And um, I am congested again. I wasn't prior. <laughs> Just seems to be a, a recording day thing. Oh, she does fill me a little bit of anxiety, <laughs> Royal. Like, if you do this on normal mode and she keeps rolling over, it's all right. You know, you either reset it or you can come easily pick it up. But. But on hard mode, I am not looking forward to rolling a lot of these trucks. And I do roll trucks here in Alaska. I've uh, done well not. Was this episode 9 here? Day 9 here? Oh, we have rolled. We rolled the um, the fleet style once, didn't we? And it did a reset. Probably a little bit, bit, bit quick to just hit the reset on that. But two grand. Rather than trying to pull a, another truck through and up to the, uh, up to the, to the hills was probably easier. To just do that reset. But we don't want to do any more. So initially, when I start restarted recording these, I mean, I, I recorded quite a lot in a very short period of time, and I was, I was hoping to put out three or four a week. But since then, um, YouTube has decided that I don't make my own content, uh, that I'm not me. I must be talking over someone else's videos and um, demonetized me which has took this <laughs> the air right out of my youtube sales um, so instead of having four of these a week they've gone out twice a week if i can re-monetize in at the end of december uh, when they say i'm allowed to reapply if we get back in and i've got loads of these on the schedule i'll probably turn them back to uh, three or four a week if it's quite a way ahead because i'm still going to keep recording if if we don't get remonetized, uh, by the time you guys hear this, this is this is how far ahead I was. Like I just got demonetized um, last week. Whereas when this comes out, it would have been like over a month ago, two months ago. Um, yeah, if we don't get remonetized, um, I'm going to start a new channel, and um, hopefully you guys will come over. Um, but that does mean, <coughs> excuse me, does mean. I will need to restart all of my series because I'm not doing half bait series. Um, I will restart a hard mode. I will restart all my trucking. I will restart whatever we've got farming wise. It will be a brand new channel, fresh start. So, uh, yeah, hopefully it doesn't come to that. And I will delete everything that is on this channel. This channel will just get completely deleted because YouTube are still pushing videos. In fact, some of them they're pushing more than they ever did before because they are recouping all of the uh, the advertisement for themselves now and um, also 
at this moment in time, it's been a week. It's a week into this month, and by now, your um, YouTube payment would have gone to AdSense to be processed by now, and that then sits there for about 20 days, and then you receive it. Uh, YouTube haven't sent me my money, and in that, if even if they think that my recorded content in my own, which clearly it is, um, a lot of the money that I received comes from um, donations and super chats to live. I mean, how, how stupid is that that I go live and they don't think on me? Um, so yeah, so people that have donated live, their money is being helped. YouTube already take a massive chunk of that. But now they're trying to keep it all, which is just mean. Am we going to pay for that, or should, should we try and load it? We'll try and load it. Oh, that's not what I want. We need pipes on the load, medium pipes on the loading platform. I am not certain that we're going to be able to uh, get that over there, but we'll try. See, so yeah, I think that's 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 awful. I mean, one of our streams um, over two hundred dollars was donated or, or gifted, and YouTube have kept that themselves. They haven't like given it back to the person who donated it. They're keeping it, and that's disgusting. I am thinking about doing a little bit of um, Twitch live in the meantime as well. So that, that may happen. Unpack and pack. Stop praying. That'll do us. It went on. We'll take that. Let's try. <clears> there, <throat> there. Sorry about that. The throat keeps closing up. Probably caught stuff off the kids from school. Right. So this should be a fun load to now deliver because we've got to go through the thick mud. I think, um, like task wise on the map, I think we've only got the two fuel trailers to deliver here. So we are, we are working through the, the, the main contracts at the minute. No diff lock on the Royal. I think it's the only truck of its kind, I believe the off-road truck, I believe it's the only off-road truck of its kind that doesn't have the diff lock. Which, although I, I really like the truck, it does make it probably the weakest off-road truck. But it has other... You know, it's got other benefits. It's powerful. It's got a good bit of speed to it when you're on if you're on muck and dirt. It does go. So there's a, there's more to it than just that, but yeah, it is a a big downside not having the diff lock. But I'm gonna try and do as much as I can with the trucks that we find here. I know I'm gonna to have to bring at least one truck through. That one truck being a Western star. I'm not going to risk my uh, my fleet star here. Although I've been doing some 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 like stock recording okay, again, ironically because I don't make my own content. Um, been doing some um, like uh, stock B-roll recording because I want to do some other things with Snowrunner as well as just like the gameplay stuff. Um, it's probably a little bit late in the game, but I, I spend a lot of time playing the game. Um, so I've been thinking about doing my own sort of truck reviews, my opinions on the trucks and my, my ratings on trucks and stuff like that. So I've been stockpiling uh, quite a bit of sort of random recordings because I mean, I'm going to try and remember to keep some of this uh, content as well for it because I often delete a lot of my content when I've, when I've finished. Um, so yeah, I might keep some of this and use in that because I'll just have to take my chat off so it can be in the background 
So I've been using vehicles like uh, the Fleet Star again. I've gone back to some of the early trucks and, and stockpiling um, videos for that. And uh, yeah, I've been out here using it to sort of prove that it can can work here and in other tougher terrains. And I'm, again, because I love it, I've been having a lot of fun with it. It's a shame that it doesn't always work when we're um, recording for the series. Because I have a lot of fun with my fleet style. I do. Honestly, I think if you treat the fleet style right, drive it right, it will get you through the entire game. It will do something on every map for you. Easily. Just trying to take a more more patient approach. Been uh, been enjoying a fair bit of my mate Wessel as well lately. Been watching a couple of his different region um, series. Sort of decide trying to decide on where I want to go after I've done the main uh, the base three. Still still a little bit undecided on that where to go whether to do it in order or whether to go off and do something completely different we're using the winch not necessarily just to pull us along but just to stabilize the truck that's what i need it for that's why we tend to go on the side rather than just huffing us along from the front Because after, in order of release, after Time Air is uh, Kola Peninsula. Kola Peninsula, um, I've, I'm there on my on my console save, and it's pretty much kicking my ass a lot. <laughs> but because it's a Russian one, you know, no matter when we get to it, because I'm trying to stick to Russian vehicles and whatever we unlock in regions for that region so if we come across a Russian vehicle in America we can use it in that region and then it gets sent to garage and go over and vice versa because there are some like that I think in Kohli you've got the F750 and I think in one or two of the the northern um, American the northern North American maps there are some some Russian trucks as well but yeah we're trying to keep it region to region so even if we don't go to Kola Peninsula straight after Time Air. When we do go to Time Air, we've pretty much still got the same trucks. <laughs> and they are tough. So whether it be a case of I need to go elsewhere to earn some money to make sure I can buy some bigger trucks for Kola and the likes of a manager, because if, if, if I find Kola hard, I am going to find, uh, not a manager, a more, I'm going to find a more impossible. So figuring out where to go. I did have a little um, back and forth with Wesleyan's comments um, about that sort of thing because I was considering going off to Tennessee. Tennessee is supposed to be an easy one. It's quite short, single map, region. Because um, I was thinking money and fuel we might get from there because I'm going to need to find somewhere to get some fuel from. Um, but he was saying there's not a lot of money to be made there and there's not a lot of fuel to be collected up there either. So that sort of brought that idea to a bit of an abrupt end. So I may have to look at some other places. But also what I'm thinking is certain regions introduced new aspects to the game. So um, I think it's, well, Polo introduced the broken, the broken ice thing. You get, come on. What are we having an issue with here, people? Um, maybe if I try and lift you from that side a bit naughty. I 
show if I can go back. This is where the uh, the no diff sort of hinders you a little bit. Oh, me reverse. That's not helping. I've run out of fuel now. That's not good. Right. So the international is here. And to the rescue, I hope. That's here from where we lumped it through last time. Hopefully I can get close enough I can get some fuel in it. This is quite a long trailer on the back there. If not, I have to go the long, the long way round just to get some fuel to it. We may have to unpack the cargo to make it a bit lighter. It might pop over if we do that. So anyway, there's a um, <clears throat> excuse me, there's a fuel trailer that we can try and get some fuel from in a bit. Let's just park this somewhere. Actually, a little bit better than that because I'm going to want to come back through. Probably <laughs> on your side is not the best way to park, but. If I it's, am it's amazing what a difference the weight makes. Now I've got to get the trail around, so I do need to pack my cargo again because I'm going to start pulling it. Come back up now. Come on. That's it. Be kind. Be kind to us. We were making pretty good progress the first sort of eight episodes, so pretty. Get, get this out of the way and we'll, we'll get back to some more progress. I think I know what job I would, I'd like to do next. There's another, another quite a big delivery one, but they all are. That's what they're here for, and big deliveries. Go on, squeeze you through. Dementia's kicked in, I forgot what I was talking about before I, before I got stuck. By the way, I haven't said it yet today. Hope you're all well. Thank you very much for coming back and joining us on the series, if you have come back and joined us. Um, the first restart, hello old friend, um, went live yesterday. I don't think many people hopped on it, but this is more of a... This has always been a series for me. But they should all be series for me. That's how it is. You should always make the content for yourself. 
stuff that you like. I think, anyway. Um. Yeah, so that's like another thing, like what the YouTube said, like content is, you know, being created just purely for whatever reasons. Like, now I, most of my content is made purely because I like playing it. There we go. New drill site is built. I think that ticks off one of our little um, goals as well for the area. Nope, it doesn't. Right, yep. But we got some money for it. Got some coinage. So my next job is going to be. I mean, it's trying to make me. It's going to try and make me do stuff. It's going to want me to go and do other things. Um, I'm going to try and be good and just save those few trains till near the end. Our next job is. I said Pedro Bay. We want that. We are on GR Enterprise. Um, Polar Base. You know, it's one of these. Um, Port Polar Base. That's the one. That's the one we want. So we want four bricks. Bricks. I think we can get bricks from up here. Bricks. Yes, yeah, so you go get the bricks. Um, metal beams and fuel. So that is our our next target, I think. I think that's what we're gonna do. And I think those are the, the best four locations for me to go and get it. And I'll bring the bring the load star through and we'll take some um, will we take fuel? I'm not sure if I wanna because I know I've got to come back here for some other jobs. So I'm not gonna take that fuel trailer away. But I'll fill the the load star fuel capacities up and then um, sort of use the the load star as our portable fuel trailer kind of thing. That's what I'm thinking. do is try and bring them together to save a little bit of time not a lot, I don't do a lot of tandem pulling not on this, that's, that's a strange thing, like I don't do a lot of the tandem pulling on here, but when I play my normal mode series series, but when I play normal mode on my console um, I'm, I'm stringing all sorts together and move it about, but I think because I'm trying to do that a lot quicker and, and again, you don't, I'm normal you roll it, you just reset it, or, you know, you've got an abundance of vehicles. You've got all the DLC trucks in the garage, and, you know, trucks you're finding everywhere, and you've got a shed load of cash. I think when I when I got to Kola Peninsula, I had nearly half a million, like, loads of trucks. <laughs> so, it's, yeah, it's completely different. And that's why I always say, like, when I play on there, it doesn't really help me. Other than I get to sometimes get a little peek at some of, some of the jobs and think, right, I might like to do, I like to do that, and then I might like to do this. But it's not like it's really helping me in um, planning anything because it's just completely different, it's a completely different style of play of the game. <clears throat> and I'm still not all that much better at it on normal mode. I think. Um, again, go back to my mate Wessel. Wessel on wheels, go check him out. I think Wessel did or completed time here on hard mode in about 30 hours, including cleanup. On normal mode, it took me about 30 hours. So, uh, yeah, it's not like it makes that big of a difference. Even watching someone else doing it different times don't make any difference to me and my abilities. Yeah, I, I could have just... Uh, no, it would have fell off. I could have just picked it up and put it on the uh, on the bed, but it definitely would have fell off. What are we like in high gear? High gear should be alright. 
that's the thing, it's not it's pretty quick in high gear, but it is high range. But again, a little less stable and she's bouncy as it is. And speed's not the goal. I know some people like to speed through and, and you know have a lot of fun with that and bouncing around and that high risk. And again, I think on certain game modes that's fine. Hard mode is not a, not the mode to be speed running it. This is where we're going to be coming in and, out, in and out of a few times. Again, before I leave, I will just top up. Alright. Give us some beans then. So yeah, we'll go and get the bricks first, it's furthest away, do the bricks, then we'll um, try and get beams and fuel at the same time. There'll be another jobby in the bag. Thank you, Rush. Mm, no, we'll go low here. Might have kept going, but... We don't go that way, we go through the river. Is this what we do? Through the river we... Nope, definitely not. <laughs> As I say, we might be able to... We can't. And our trailer, if I remember rightly, is the, uh, the modded off-road semi. So it does help us a little bit, not a lot, but a little bit more than the standard ones. I mean, it's a bit of a shame that there aren't other trailers available, sort of base game, that we never got any off-roads or chained or, you know. I don't know, it sort of maybe takes away a little bit of the challenge, but if you've got the top, if you put the chains on your truck, I'm pretty sure you'd strap some chains on your trailer tyres. I don't know. I would. I'd want to. <laughs> Where possible, I think I'd want my, my, my trailer tyres to match my truck tyres. And it goes for the the dead axle ones as well. Like if you've got a truck that has a dead axle, and it's even if it's um, raisable, so you can raise and lower it, um, yeah, that never gets the, uh, the same tyre either, so sometimes you get that, that, that dead axle that's stopping you and it's not going to gonna help in any condition. I tend to stay away from those trucks. Not often. There's, I think, the, uh, the Western Star um, 47s, I think. I'm not sure if the 40... Is it the 49? I'm not sure if that's a dead axle. I think they're probably the only ones that I do use. Even from the uh, the two um, anniversary pack trucks, I, I, I tend to use the International HX. Is it 520? More than I would the the Caterpillar, <laughs> because the Caterpillar has the back side. Of the two, I tend to sell the Caterpillar and, and keep the International HX. I don't know why we're still in low. We can go quicker here for a little bit at least.
Get up a hill, girl. Did I see on the map that we brought the Derry Longhorn through? Yeah. Okay. Must be getting, getting ready to pull that big trailer. That'll be a fun one when that happens. Was there three, four of them big trailers to pull? That always goes so well. <laughs> the one that's here is the hardest of the lot, I think. Personally, just because you've got to get it through Devil's Mud. And it's just a winch fest. It's just a dirty, dirty winch fest. That's all it is. Why are we still in um, No Plus? Forget my roots. I'm going right. I've got to say, warehouse. I was in trying to think what vehicle I used to do a lot of this here, as well as the BM. I think I went I went um, with the Brigadier as well, the GMC Brigadier. Did a lot of work here for me on my, uh, on my console save. So I didn't bring I didn't bring the fleet staff through, didn't bring the White Western staff through for that one. Used some of the DLCs. So it's not often a use, but then the Brigadier sort of falls in the same category as um, the HX uh, 520 and the cat that we got in the uh, anniversary pack. There's sort of a a lot of them that are all much the same. I think they all do crane bed trailer, so that's nice. It's nice that they all have that. So here's our fuel trailer, sort of half empty. I'm going to come collect this up and move this soon, I think. I 
because I think we'll only come back here maybe once more. Not sure, because it's, it's sort of out of the way. So if we can get materials elsewhere, we, we sort of probably will. I think this might be the only spot where we can get a particular thing here. Oh, but I need to get closer. Playing a lot of normal mode means I've not been uh, manual. Pack in. Pack in. Although I do try and always run with a crane on normal mode as well, just so I have it there, because sometimes like having the crane means you wouldn't be able, I don't think you'd be able to grab that trailer, so you'd have to take that off. Anyway, we are after bricks. I still think you should be able to uh, get more on that loading platform at once. I'll just be able to pop four down and bring them over. You don't have to keep coming out like this. And that's annoying. Like the the loading area is, is big enough. going down when I want you to go up. Come down again. One more. It's four, isn't it? Yep. And yeah, I'm not too concerned with how they go. We've put, actually put three of them on there all white. But for my standard, that's pretty good. For my low standards. So we'll head these back. I'm hoping we can get this whole job done. We should have to get this whole job done today. It's time. I think we're a little over halfway through our day, our 24 hour period. You know, get, getting stuck for that little bit and running out of fuel, that sort of consumed a bit of time. I'm just going to try and stay a bit more. Excuse me, a bit more chilled for that stuff. I mean, I'm not a man of great patience anyway, so... You may have noticed. <laughs> um, but yeah, try and stay chilled with it. Again, that's another thing that I love about Wessel, man. It doesn't matter how bad something goes, it's just so chilled with it. And it just amazes me. I, I lose it so quickly. In life, not just this game. <laughs> It was like I ran out of patience at around about 32, <laughs> no, 10 years ago. I'm not sure how much high gear we'll be able to do in the mud with our load? None. <laughs> I'll just go low plus, just so we stay in one gear. It's the, it's the gear changing that sort of loses you all momentum. I'll probably say this like once an episode, but it is. Let's just hammer at home. The gear changes lose you all your momentum. Slow casual shift, and there's no quick shift.
I was hoping to get a screenshot of the bricks for um, our thumbnail, but being at night, it might mean we get a little pause here while I take a shot and then I'll edit it out. That's what will happen. So there. That'll do it. I have to remember that in editing. <laughs> it's there. Uh, my, my edits are never that smooth, so it's not like you'd not notice. Especially since I don't stop the truck, I just pause while we're going. So then when we come back, we have that little, little stutter. <laughs> uh, yeah, but at night, I mean, you can grab the screenshot. This just doesn't make the best thumbnail, does it? Again, YouTube, wild that I worry about these things for content that apparently I don't make myself. I just think that's mental. That is going to piss me off till the end of days, that is. Three and a half, nearly four years come uh, March 1st, 2025. I've been four years I've been doing this. And then for them to suddenly say, oh, I don't think you're making your own content. It's just, just mental, absolutely mental. But I did look into it. I haven't said, yeah, I looked into it a lot. And I found other channels that had a similar sort of thing happen. And for all of them, it came about after they had one single short go viral, which is mad. So YouTube pushes content creators to make shorts because it wants to compete with TikTok. So people create shorts. They tell gamers people gaming channels, you know, make highlights of your content with shorts, do, you know, do stuff with your shorts, snips, snippets and clips, because you're making clips anyway, you can clip your content, turn clips into shorts. So you do that, and then if that short, if you, if you make shorts and none of them really do well, you know, you get a couple that go to a thousand or so, but then you get one that goes viral. YouTube then flags that as like, something that needs to see because it's not something that happens, not happens on your channel. So it's sort of something in the automation, sort of like, right, we need to look into this. Um, so I, like, like I say, most of my shorts barely get 100 views, some of them a few hundred. Um, but I had a short, and that, that did 200,000 views in a month. In 28 days, over 200,000 views. So that flagged up for YouTube that there was something different going on. And then it just, it's just like it instantly assumes that because that's doing better than the rest of your content, that's clearly that's not your content when it is, because it's, it's come out of your content um, so yeah, that then gets flagged uh, and then it just seems like it doesn't matter how how you try and present your appeal everyone that I've seen talk about this, everyone fails fails their appeal, it doesn't matter what they show them, what they give YouTube fails them, and I, only one person have I found that got back into the program on their appeal. Everyone else had to wait. And so, so just randomly delete videos and shorts that they think YouTube have a problem with. Because it doesn't tell you. It doesn't tell you, like, this. we think this video is an issue. Show us how you made it. Show us what you did. Talk us through how, what you did here with this video. It just says your content. And um, like I've said, I said this on, on the Discord and on the Facebook and on the community feed. If you are someone that steals other people's content, and there's a lot of people out there that do. They reuse it. It's not stealing, they're reusing it. But it is stealing. Right, and then you get flagged for reusing content or not making your own content or whatever it is they want, term they want to use for it. You know which videos they are. You can delete them and reapply and get back in. You know, you can you can get rid of that and be by right, right, we're done back in, thank you very much. Remonetized. If you're someone that doesn't reuse content, doesn't take anyone else's content, uh, make everything yourself, when when you're told there's a problem with your content and it doesn't tell you which, which particular video it is they have an issue with, you don't know where to start. We don't know what the issue is. And I think that's 
that's the bit where the system's not working. Because if it said this short is your problem, I'd have been I'd have just deleted it, like who cares, it's one short, right? I'll lose two thousand views. I mean I was I say two hundred thousand views, I think I've got three hundred and fifty subscribers off that as well. But like, it was just YouTube were pushing it. I mean nothing I did, YouTube decided they wanted to push this particular short because it was done well. And then penalise you for it once once they've got what they want out of it. It's like, yeah, you're a bad man. But if they'd said this short, I could have then just removed that short and then asked them to have a look again and then they could have gone, yeah, alright, we'll let you back in. Or if their issue was I don't know. Like I, I the only thing that I could think of that had content in that isn't one hundred percent mine is the Giants partner content. But that's stuff that we are given and that Currently in the Giants Partner Discord is around 620 content creators, so 620 other accounts that are all using that same material, they're making it their own, some of us make shorts, some of us make full length videos, some people like to just put out posts, some people do a slide, some people discuss one particular thing in depth, like everyone does it differently, so it's not even like thus the same, but if it was that, and I know a couple of creators have actually been demonetized and, and flagged for using it if it was just that then more of us was to get it but to me before I went deep and I found out about this shorts thing the only thing that I could think of when it says reuse and content and, and content that's not my own is the giant stuff so I had to delete it all that was the only thing I could think of um, in hopes that I'd get accepted back in at the new year but then, because I've now deleted everything that's relevant, everything that anyone is interested in at the minute, because they're not interested in SnowRunner, people aren't really interested in FS22 anymore. They're not interested in the trucking as much. They're interested in what's coming to FS25. That's what's generating views for you know, the farm sim channels and channels that do simulation like myself and cover farm sim. That's what's generating views. So now everything on my channel has died. I've gone from... Um, like six, seven thousand views a day to I'm lucky if it's 300 and I I can't risk it so I can't even put out new stuff because I don't know if that, that was if that was the problem at all so I can't even risk doing stuff with the new Giants partner um, content I just yeah so I set my chat with is, is ultimately until FS25 come out and I try and do something with that, it's killed my channel. Because there's nothing here, really, that more than 30 people are even interested in. Out of nearly 4,000. And we were pushing, we were, I mean, I don't really worry about that, subscribe. I like to have a goal thinking, right, we can grow this much this year, that would be nice. But, yeah, we, we were heading, because I didn't think we were going to hit 5,000 at all this year. That was just a number I thought, yeah, let's try and see if we can do it. But we were looking like we could have done it. And then as soon as I removed all my growth content, I, I think we've had one, subs one subscriber in uh, two weeks since. That's it. Whereas I was getting 25, 30 a day. That's how important it is to have new, relevant content. It's just, yeah, really, really disheartened. Um, like I say, that's why this is being stretched out because what's the point in banging out another 50 of these? in the new but by the new year or more uh, and then um, still being kicked out of the program and having to start again so we'll sort of trickle them through Hope hopefully we don't have to restart entirely but if we do uh, hopefully we'll get through Michigan a lot quicker than we did before and I'm, I'm not going to have so much if I do have to start again I'm not going to have so many different things on the go as I did previously not going to stretch myself as thin but 
but I'm not sure if this will this one will release before FS25 releases. But I'm already thinking like if I do FS25, well not if I do, but I, I will do. Um, it'll probably all be streamed until I find out whether I can get into the YouTube Partner program again. And I know there'll be people thinking, oh, or saying even, like, oh, I thought it weren't about the money. It's not about the money, but if I've been getting paid to do something and earning from a hobby, I would still like to earn from that hobby because you two are still earning from my hobby. <laughs> that's, that's the kicker. We've gone from getting, like, 45% of the earnings to you two retaining 100% of the earnings. And that's what doesn't stick with me. I mean, I miss my turn and I often miss it because it's dark. Things look different. Let's just check. Yeah, I don't want to go through a mountain river, do I? So, so no, it's not about the money, but it's, it's, it's the... Uh, it's the principle of it. Like, doing this all costs money. Now, I'm not saying that my YouTube money goes into paying for house bills. And, you know, it should. It should. But this... My YouTube channel never earned enough money to even cover the running cost of my PC for a month. So, it, it literally is hobby funds. Um, I had a... I had a personal goal set out when I started doing this, um, being able to run my channel or channels, because I always wanted to um, run my channels to uh, to generate a part-time income, so that when my kids went to school, I had a part-time income coming from this. Uh, we were off schedule for sure by by a year or two, but. We were looking good, and I, I felt like with FS25 coming along, um, that would have really helped bolster the growth, as it already was, bolstering the growth of the channel. And, um, yeah, I was really hoping that maybe when Roadcraft came out next year, that could help as well. So I want to want to cover a lot of Roadcraft when it comes out. Hopefully it's good. No, it just, like I said, it's just all a bit of a kick in the teeth to lose all that momentum, all that motivation. Like it's, it's made me not even want to come and sit at my PC. I say this is the first recording I've done since... or if, like for an episode that I've done since getting demonetized. Everything else has just been B-roll recording. Not even talking, just, just recording the trucks, doing stuff. And and experiment with new trucks and different trucks that I don't generally use. So we are here for Metal Beams on the loading platform. But that's why in the disc in Discord and on my Instagram and even sometimes on, on Facebook, you know, I've posted a lot more from my console. That's because I've just not wanted to come up here and do this. It's really like it's really really knocked everything out of me for wanting to do this. So I've just been back to playing on my console. You know, the three and a half grand PC sits there while my ten-year-old <laughs> Xbox One X um, gets all the love. It's just one, isn't it? Yeah. Now, is this the one with a fuel trail around the back as well that I haven't looked at? Let me just have a sure there's one that has a fuel trailer. I think I said this before. I didn't find it. It's up here. Let's have a butcher's little scout trailer or something off in the distance. Nope. But not this one. But that's why I've progressed so much with my snow runner on the uh, on my console. That's where it I've been sitting and playing in the evenings and in the afternoons.
but I think it's the the first time I, sh I shared it in Discord and, and actually on the Xbox as well. The first time since this game released that I had completed all three of the base game maps. But I feel like I'm going the wrong way again. Why do I just constantly feel like I'm going the wrong way? Yeah, first time I've 100 percent at all three of the base game maps. Because it always reset. That, the, the other week was the first time I'd ever 100 percent of the time out. I've done Alaska before, I've done Michigan many times. That was the first time for time here. And now I have started to do a little bit more jumping about. Like I say, looking at the other maps, seeing where I want to go and what I want to do. And so I've done, done a little bit of Tennessee. I've sort of got, got quite stuck into Cooler. I think as Cooler has become harder, that's made me want to stay there <laughs> to, to not be defeated by it. And I'm noticing more that so many of the maps are having to be played differently as well. Like I naively thought I was always going to be able to go out and just scout everywhere and collect everything up and do everything. And you can do that in Michigan. You can pretty much do that do that here as well. Even with the block tunnel, you can do that. But like in in Kola, uh, in in Time Air, I knew that we couldn't because we've I've been to Time Air many times. Um, so you have to unlock certain. Have to have completed certain contracts to unlock um, certain areas to get to get free to even scout um, other maps of the region, and then I find that like with with Cola, like because of the type of um, map missions there are and tasks, like there's so many more tasks and map missions to be found than there are contracts to do. And they're so spread out and they're so everywhere and they all overlap each other like you while you're scouting you need to be collecting up all the jobs and doing the jobs at the same time because it's just not a lot of fuel there even even for normal mode um, so you're trying to pick everything off all at once or i was anyway and constantly flittering between different tasks because they're all <laughs> they're all active all at once and they're all everywhere Which is cool. It means it's a little bit different. I'm not sure if my crane is going to get in the way. Oh, just enough space, hopefully. Oh, just enough space. Really hope we're gonna have enough time to get this back. We will. We'll, we'll run until we get this job done. I am a little bit liberal with our time these days. I'll try not to get stuck on the pumps. sure there are some people that run all of this in one go so they'd have have the brakes on the bottom then balance the, the fuel and the, the metal beams on top I'm not that great I don't mind doing a little bit of overloading but again, on hard mode it's just quite the risk it really is what is the time oh it's time that's annoying right we're going to do it we're going to run a few extra minutes today just so I can be like, right, we got this job done. Let's move on. I say it's because we get stuck. When we get stuck, it just throws everything off. And 
usually I take it out of the next episode anyway, so we'll get a little bit of a long one today, and then in a few days' time we'll get a slightly shorter one. The lights on the Royal aren't that good either, but I haven't, I haven't put any extras on, have I? I haven't wasted any money tarring it up. That's just... Is it a different paint job? It might be a different paint job, it might not be. I forget. I think because I, I always run my Royal, white and blue, <laughs> I think this is, this is its normal colours. I like things to <laughs> to match and look pretty. So uh, yeah, on my other on my other saves, Ooh, yeah, I'm struggling. On my other saves, I'm not over there, somewhere in front. Why are we struggling so much? Like you can see, I want to go forwards, right? Can see that. Can I just not reach? It's mad. That's what I get for wanting to carry on, isn't it? Yeah, so um, when I do Michigan, all my trucks get the same paint jobs. When I did Alaska, they all got a different paint job. Russia, they all got a different paint job. And then um, it, the trucks that are left in Tennessee have a different paint job. The trucks that are in Cola have a different paint job. But then I can also see which trucks get moved about the most because they'll always have the, uh, the current map paint job on and there'll be some that that have never had a different paint job <laughs> like the Royal it'll only ever probably have my uh, Alaskan paint job on it I don't think here anything's like we've just got whatever we haven't got themed paint jobs yet I haven't got to that got to that stage of anal sea with this there's too much to worry about Right, an extra hour on our day, but we are there. Oh, didn't even get to read it. I just gone for it too quick. Job done. I'm not quite sure where we're going to go next. What job we're picking off next. I'll have to have a little look at the start of the next episode. But that is it for this one. Hope you've enjoyed it. A little bit ranty, a little bit chatty, but you know where I'm at, how I'm feeling, and what's going on with the channel. Probably much later in time than you should, but I'll probably do a stream talking about stuff at some point soon anyway. Um, hopefully you've enjoyed it if you have give a big fat thumbs up down below if you're new to the channel hit the subscribe button turn the bell notification on find out when new videos are going live go back to the start enjoy the rest of the series you guys have a wonderful day and hopefully i will see you again soon bye bye